People ask me all the time, why does it matter, Rosie, why you get involved with victims and advocacy? It matters when a deputy sheriff drops off a woman and two children and they're clutching to their mother and they're scared to death and they haven't eaten that day. And when that mother arrives in our kitchen and sits down and she begins to fix them something to eat and we can see the relief in those children, the terror, but also that we're safe. We have a lot of community members that are very generous with food and with gifts and with with other items needed in a domestic violence shelter to make people comfortable. What we need now is a home to make these families comfortable when they're trying to rebuild their lives after domestic violence. And if we cannot get this soon, we may have to give up our shelter at this point because of code or because grants will be cut because the home is not conducive to what we need to do in the town of Madison. For Madison, when people are coming here, they're looking for a place right away to go, um, not having to go to another town. Um, they need help now. Just to make sure that they know that people are there to try and help them, that not everything is as bad as they thought, and that they can get through it. That they've had a first good meal where they can sit down at the table where it hasn't been something uh, as bread and water, bread and sandwich, as they're driving around their vehicle wondering where they're going to go next and their phone vibrating all the time. But we can't do that with our small facility. We're growing beyond belief. Our kitchen is too small. The table is too small for all these little kids. And when you think about the little kids, where are they going to go? Where are they going to play? We can't do that in ours right now. The first step of stepping out and asking for help and getting out of the situation is the biggest step they can take. And we have to do everything in our power to provide that and support that and help cheer them on. We have to have a facility to provide that support to strictly help people. We are called to help people. We are meant to help people. And a domestic violence shelter is that place to a T. And with what we have right now, we can't meet all of those needs. And the one thing we don't want to do is to stop the process of the first step. We want to help it, we want to move them along, we want to love them, and we want to support them. So thanks for watching this video. And we just ask for your support in helping those people in need and getting them the support they need.